Hey, Harold Curry readers. It is Tuesday, June 30th. I'm Tim Dotson, our morning digital reporter, bringing you a few of our headlines this morning for a personal minute. So thanks for tuning in. Um, we report that the Sessions Hotel has formally opened for business in downtown Bristol. Um, they opened on Monday. The new $23 million boutique hotel is named for the 1927 Bristol Sessions recordings that have been dubbed the Big Bang of country of commercial country music. Um, it's located in, in State Street's 800 block, um, and the hotel property also features the recently opened Southern Craft Restaurant and Bar with other amenities. You can find a feature on this in today's paper and also online. And an employee at the Christian Care Center of, of a Bristol, Tennessee um, nursing facility, this is the Christian Care Center of Bristol, um, they tested positive for COVID-19. This is according to a statement Monday from the facility's executive director. Um, visits to the facility have been temporarily suspended. We have more details over on our website and in today's paper. And a Virginia man who claimed that he was injured after slipping in a Bristol Motor Speedway bathroom during a 2016 race has voluntarily withdrawn a $2 million federal lawsuit that he filed against the track and its owner, Speedway Motorsports. The U.S. District Court in Greenville, Tennessee, issued an order last week dismissing the case with prejudice, which means that it cannot be refiled. You can find more information about these articles and more of our reporting, again, in today's paper and also online at heraldcourier.com. I uh, hope you have a good start to your Tuesday, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Take care.